I'm Sydney. I'm one of the speech language pathologists here at Cutting Edge, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about food chaining. Um, food chaining is a strategy that we use in therapy to kind of help kids bridge from a food that they already comfortably or safely eat to something that is new to them. So whether that's something they're aversive to or something that is challenging for them due to oral motor deficits, we can use it for a variety of things. So the first example I'm going to talk about is kids who um, may have difficulty with the oral motor skills related to chewing. So sometimes, you know, we need to work on building those oral motor skills, but also the child may have limited experience with the solid food that they would need to chew. So we have to find a way to introduce that to them in a way that they feel comfortable. So we might take something that the child likes that's preferred and comfortable, like yogurt, um, and we try to do a variety of um, flavors like blueberry, berry, and having the real fruit in there is helpful too. And then we'll start to slowly add food items. So here I've crumbled some graham crackers. Um, and then we might do that for a few sessions and we might move to a little bit bigger pieces of graham crackers and adding more. And then all the way to the child hopefully accepting and trying something that will melt in their mouth but require a little bit of chewing like graham crackers. Um, and this can kind of help them to feel comfortable and safe. We don't do any force feeding. We want the child to feel comfortable and we want them to have a healthy relationship with the food item um, and we can support them through that as well. Um, and then we'll try to vary. So we might try adding different types of cereal to the yogurt. Um, we might try it with pudding or oatmeal. Um, so we really individualize it based on what the child likes and their preferences. Um, we also might use this for kids with sensory aversion who maybe only eat foods of like a certain color, texture, or shape. Um, so let's say that the child eats Cheeto puffs, which are pretty easy to eat, they kind of melt in your mouth. We might introduce something with the exact same flavor, such as crunchy Cheetos, and then eventually, hopefully we can move to something like raw carrots. Um, and we want the child to take just little steps with the food, so it might be like smelling it, looking at it, describing it, touching it to their lips, their tongue. So we take these little baby steps and then the hope is that over time we'll start to take bigger steps with food items because the child feels comfortable exploring foods on their own. Um, so if you are kind of looking for a way to work on this at home, you can kind of think about your child's um, food repertoire, what types of flavors, textures, shapes, colors your child eats. Are they um, kind of missing a food group? Are they missing a food color or texture or shape or color? Um, and so you can kind of think about that and think about just making little changes. So um, maybe if they eat green apples, maybe introduce red apples or yellow apples, maybe applesauce. So helping the child to understand that we can eat the same food in many different forms and that helps increase their flexibility and comfort with eating too. Um, if you have any questions, please give us a call um, and we can help um, individualize your child's treatment plan for his or her needs. Thank